Well, that was a long, long, long day. James and I, it's three o'clock. James and I just finished uh, half an hour ago breaking all the babies uh, that were here. Uh, one filly was a little bit sick. Uh, another one looked like she had a little tiny hernia we got to fix. Not a big deal. Um, what else? I think there were uh, five, eight, 19. 19 we broke today to harness. So 19, um, they never seen the harness before, and they all jogged this morning. So I was going to get into what, you know, all the babies, but I don't think we're ready to cut a, a major list yet of the yearlings. You guys can see it on the site. Plus, there's some horses that aren't on the site yet. Um, they were privately sent here, and the, the owner's got to price them. So um, some really nice horses there also. But they're not on the site yet, so it's not really fair for me to go through the ones we did, plus the ones we just broke today. You know what? Uh, I know Curtis can't come out this week. Maybe we'll do another little drone session next week. Um, I don't know what the weather's like. Maybe we'll have some clients out, have a little barbecue this Saturday. Sure, I can bring my barbecue down. We can have a little barbecue or something this Saturday, or order some pizza or something for people. Come out, watch the babies go. Uh, the ones we went with today were great. Um, there was a couple I was worried was going to smash everything. And uh, they were good. They were really good. Um, Braymar, he's a big colt. Wow. He kicked the apron off the jog cart today. He was being bad when he first went out, but then was fine. And then that giant Trixton colt. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect score, I think his name is. He was, uh, he was fantastic. My God, he had a nice gait. I really thought after the show he put on, um, after the show he put on, in um, after the show he put on at the sale that we might have a little problem with him perfect record yeah but um, no he tried to kick for the first couple of minutes he was out and then he trotted man oh man he trotted great he looked fantastic and then James went with the Trixton filly the funny named one at the end of the sale uh, she trotted great too so uh, a lot of horses we were happy with you guys want to come out this Saturday uh, I think that's probably fair We'll get, we get enough people out, we'll order we'll order a bunch of pizzas or something, or barbecue just seems like it might be a little bit of a planning, a little logistical nightmare for me, especially with everything going on here right now, and all the horses here at the training center, so maybe we'll just call it pizza day, we'll get some pizza and some drinks, uh, if you guys want to come out and look at the babies go, that would be cool, maybe bring some Tim, I'll bring some Tim Hortons out in the morning for everybody, so, um, as far as the babies go, I don't really want to touch on them this week. You guys know who they are and what they are. It's not really, there's nothing I can update. I was gone for a week, so I can't tell you the ones that I'm training that are mine for now. Um, I don't know much about them because Danny's been going about them. He said that he was really happy with a lot of them. None of them were really upsetting to him. All of them seem to have good attitudes, which is rare. Usually you have some, some, uh, oh, excuse me, some bad characters uh, at the first month or so, but. He said everything he went with was great. Steve's horses were all acting fine. One colt got a little bit sick. Uh, he's going to need a couple of weeks off. But other than that, we've had a pretty good run. So I'm going to run through all the stables with you real quick. We have Kevin's Barn, Harry's Barn, Mario, Jason, Blair Burgess has a horse here, Jared, everybody. I'm going to run through them all in just a second. But I did want to mention uh, the babies that we had going and what we're planning on doing for Saturday, we're planning on uh, we're planning on having having some clients out, bringing out some coffee and donuts, maybe getting some pizza. But uh, there's no point going through a list of babies right now. There is probably I'm going to say 51, probably 50 or 51 babies on site right now between uh, all the shed rows. Now that the stakes are done. I'm going to uh, move most of the babies up to the top barn, and uh, you, so you'll see most of them up in the top barn starting next week. So that's a little update on all the babies. Uh, we still have London, Indiana, and Harrisburg. Uh, London's poorly timed. I mean, it's right after. It's close enough to. It's close enough to Lexington and close enough to Harrisburg where either you spend a lot of money like we did, um, although we didn't spend a fortune, we still spent a lot of money in Lexington, or you're trying to save your bullets for Harrisburg. So we are going to have some look, look at horses, but I'll be up completely upfront with everybody out there uh, for us to go there and spend a decent amount of money in uh, in London at the London Select. 
um, you know, we're going to have to have some people speak up and say, hey, I'm interested in this horse, hip number whatever, 181 or whatever it might be, um, you know, to the tune of X. Or, um, you know, if you guys want to come out with me, that's fine. But we're not going to be putting up our hand in London to buy a ton of horses on spec as we do in Lexington and, and a lot of people a lot of people ask that question and, and don't always know it is you know who buys the horses we buy the horses you know we do have some clients that stand behind us and help us out until we get all the shares sold but uh, buying horses the way we do uh, especially the ones we bought in Lexington I'm quite comfortable on that but then going to London and spending a fortune more might be tough to do now I'm going to be at the London sale I do want to see I guess some horses go through and see what they bring, but at the same time, uh, value. So anyway, that's an update in the babies. There's 50 or 51 here. We'll have them all broken, at least mild mannered on by Saturday. If you guys want to come out, we're going to have lots of coffee and donuts, maybe get some pizza for you guys want to hang around for the day, but it should be fun now. I haven't looked at the forecast. Of course, I'm going to hang my phone up. It's going to say 10 millimeters of rain or something, but if it's a nice day, um, hopefully it is. Um, we're going to have as many people as want to come out on Saturday. So that's it for the babies. I'm going to get right back at it now with Mario's barn, Jason's, Harry's, Kevin's, and all the smaller barns. Be back in just a minute.